former CIA agent Joe Weisberg joining us. He's the author of the book Russia Upside Down, an exit strategy for the second Cold War. He's also the creator of the hit TV series that a lot of us love, The Americans. So, Joe, it's great to meet you. Uh, how important is it to have a voice like Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, cutting through this narrative? But does it get to the people? How will this get to the people who are not seeing any kind of free media anymore? Well, I was very moved by what he said, and it's unusual to have a perspective like that. And right in the middle of it, sort of admitting that his father was a Nazi, but it's sort of taken for granted that that's not who he is. It's just all very honest and open. But it seems unlikely that it will get through to the Russian people in any meaningful way. And when you see Vladimir Putin today, after the, the extraordinary destruction we've seen in Mariupol, and he's now wearing this jacket and in a soccer stadium, you know, after all the criticism that he's so isolated, he doesn't know what's going on, other than what he hears from maybe one or two advisors. The disinformation campaign is still, you know, for months and months, they've been calling Ukrainians Nazis, even though that's not true. And <laughs> we know Zelensky's Jewish and his relatives were killed in the war, killed in the Holocaust. I want to give you a kind of sideways perspective on that, because, of course, what you're saying is correct. Putin has a long history of mixing kind of outrageous lies with sort of thoughtful insights and truths, and it can be hard to know when he's doing which. And I imagine if you're in Russia, that can be even harder. But I have to tell you also what I think about when I see him standing there in that soccer stadium, and I see how much support there is at this point in Russia for this war. And I flash back to our war in Iraq, which is analogous in many, many ways. And I think about how our president spoke and how my, me and most of my friends and most of the political establishment felt, which was we were very supportive, at least initially, of that extremely brutal and aggressive war. So the point of saying all that, Andrea, is not to in any way excuse what Putin is doing. On the contrary, that has to be condemned in the harshest possible terms. But it's to recognize that we are capable of the same thing. It's an interesting point. It makes you think of... Uh... Frankly, George W. Bush in the flight suit on May 1st on the airport carrier, air, uh, the, the carrier with, you know, mission accomplished. This is only the first act, but it's a devastating act for Ukraine. Now, you joined the CIA back in 1990, just in time to see the Soviet Union collapse. How do you reflect on this moment in Russian history? I was thinking about it the other day, and noted that Putin was starting to arrest his own generals and FSB officers, apparently for mistakes in the field. And uh, that didn't remind me of anything so much as Stalinist times. I usually spend a lot of time talking about how Putin is not like Stalin, which is correct. He is not like Stalin. But that type of activity, that way of turning on your own people, even in Russia, is extremely rare. And I don't think you've seen since, you know, in half a century, more than half a century. Well, thank you, Joe Weisberg. Uh, thank you for the Americans, but I can't. The, the book now, of course, as well, for your experience with Russia, Soviet Russia and the, the current Putin Russia.